this video, we're going to be talking about the three different right hand rules and when to apply each one of them. So we have five different, uh, fairly unique situations, and we'll talk about when you should use each of the different right hand rules to produce the solution that you're looking for, which is either the current force or magnetic field. So let's start off with this one over here, which we'll call the right grip rule. Um, this one you want to use when you have some current running along a wire or some current running around in a loop. So usually this one's fairly obvious when to use the right grip rule. For example, if you had a wire that has a current going around counterclockwise, then you're going to have your fingertips um, curl around in the direction of the current. So your right hand would be curling around this way, which means your thumb would then be coming out of the page. Now for this one over here, we have two wires with current running through them. So instead of curling our fingers for the current and our thumb being the magnetic field, it's going to be vice versa where your thumb is running with the current and then your fingers are curling around with the magnetic field as the picture shows over here. So you can use it either way. So um, let's go ahead and start off with our blue wire. So for our blue wire, if your thumb is going up on the screen, then your fingers are going to dig in to the page on this side and then it's going to come out of the page or the screen on this side over here now for the wire on the left side the red one if your thumb is going upwards on the screen then your fingertips would go inward on this side of the wire and they would curl outward on this side of it so if you were to label um, what happens with each one of the wires, which would be a secondary question after figuring out which way the magnetic fields are pointing, you would do something like this. So these red X's are in influencing this blue wire and these blue dots are influencing this red wire over here. So let's actually come back to that problem because we're gonna need a different right hand rule for that. We're not gonna use the right grip rule. All right, so going to the other two, we have um, the right hand rule where your three fingers are sticking out and they are all perpendicular to one another. And the big upside to this one is it's easy to keep your fingers in the right configuration because you basically just stick your pointer finger straight out, your middle finger out perpendicular from there and your thumb goes upwards. This one is the one that I think is the most simplistic to use, but then you can also get caught up in losing the formation of your original right hand rule unless you lock your wrist up properly. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rule, which we'll call the right palm rule, just so we don't get confused with this one over here. So if we work on this first question over here using the right palm rule, our fingertips are going into the screen and then we are going to twist our palm. So our palm is facing downwards with these blue arrows. And then that way our thumb would be pointing this way over here. So then that would be the direction of the current or velocity of the charged particles. All right, so let's go ahead and use that right palm rule for a couple more, and then we'll replace that one with this right hand rule afterwards. So if we're taking a look at this third case over here, we have a loop with a current running around it and a magnetic field that's going downwards on our screen. So what we're gonna do is point our fingertips downwards and then we're going to look at the wire in two different spots. We're going to look at the wire over here and over here, because if you have a current running parallel to the magnetic field, you have no force. So there is no force over here and over here. All right. So with that being said, um, let's take a look at our bottom one, because our bottom one is going to be a little bit easier to line up our fingers. So we're going to have our fingertips pointing down the screen. And then we're going to turn our thumb to the left and then our palm is going to be coming outwards. Now for this part up here, we're going to take our fingertips and point them down on the screen once again. And then we're going to turn our thumb to the right. And then on that side, our force is going to be going inwards. So then it's going to cause the loop to rotate in on this side and out on this side. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our last one. So let's start, go ahead and start with our positive charge over here. So positive charge is moving to the right, which would be considered the velocity or current. So I'm going to go ahead and take my thumb 
and point it to the right. And then I'm going to twist my arm a little bit so my fingertips are pointing out of the screen. And then in that case, the force is going to be going downwards. Now, if you have a negative particle, what you can do is you can either one, use your right hand rule and then flip your answer in the exact opposite direction, or you can do the problem with your left hand and then that way you won't have to flip your final answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my right hand and stick with that. So again, we're still on the right palm rule. So I'm gonna take my thumb and point it down on the screen. And then I'm gonna flip my fingertips so they're pointing out on the screen, out of the screen. And then that would mean that my palm is originally facing this way to the left, okay? But remember, if it's an electron or a negatively charged particle, I'm gonna flip my answer. So then this is gonna be my final answer over here, not this one over here. I just kind of drew that so I can get my initial direction of my palm. Okay, now here's the thing with the different right hand rules. This one is pretty unique to where if you have a current along a wire or a current flowing around in a circular path along a wire, that's gonna be your go-to to find your magnetic field. Now with these two, these can be used interchangeably. It's more preference. So we'll do all of the same problems, but we're gonna use the second right hand rule. Um, this one over here with our fingers and see how we like that one. So with our First problem over here, we're going to take our thumb and point it towards the bottom of the screen. And then we're going to take our middle finger and point it into the screen. And then now my pointer finger is pointing to the left. So which is the same answer, obviously, that we got before. And then with the loop over here, you're going to take your middle finger and point it down on the page. And then when you point it down on the page or the screen, excuse me, then your left, then your pointer finger should be pointing towards the left. And then your thumb would be pointing out. So that would be this bottom portion where a force is going out. And then if for the top one, if you have your middle finger going down still, but then you turn your pointer finger so it's pointing to the right of the screen, which is a little bit awkward, then your thumb goes into the screen and that matches up with this answer over here. And then for our final one, um, let's go ahead and just do this positive one over here. If you take your pointer finger and you point it to the right and then you twist your wrist kind of like down on the screen, then your thumb points out of the screen um, sorry, your middle finger points out of the screen. And then once you get that situated, then your thumb is pointing downwards. And then that's how you match up to this original force that we got a little bit earlier on. All right, so let's actually go back to this question. I want to come back to that one a little bit later. So if we're taking a look at these two wires and figuring out if they attract or repel, uh, this is how we do it. We have these red X's influencing this blue wire. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and use our right palm rule. So then our fingertips are gonna be pointing out or excuse me, into the screen. And then our thumb is gonna be pointing up with the current, which means that this wire will get pushed this way. Now for a red wire, it's feeling these blue dots affecting it. So if we take our fingertips and point them out of the screen and then have our thumb pointing up with the red wire, then our palm is facing to the right and this one gets pushed over this way. So they get both get pushed inwards towards each other, which means they attract. So with our three right hand rules, this one is only used in unique situations with wires where the current is running down a single wire or in a loop. These two over here can be used interchangeably. Like I said, it's just more preference in which one is easier to maneuver your hand in order to get those different answers. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.